was too much. I was just like, oh no, I can't, I, I can't lose my sanity trying to get groceries now. This is too much. Hey love bugs, welcome to my channel. Let's discuss with author LA Logan. On today, we are running an errand to go pick up something that I ordered and I thought I would take you along with me and to do a little chit chatting to see how everyone is doing. Are you ready to get into it? I know I am. Let's discuss. Hey everybody, how is everybody doing on this Thursday afternoon? I am doing well. I can't complain. I logged off work a little bit early um, because I ordered a um, ottoman, and I hope I'm calling it the right thing. It's an ottoman with storage, and it's um, it matches my bedroom set that I got like four years ago, but I never got the ottoman, and um, I need something to store my, my comforters that I use for my room in, and so I was like, well, why don't I just go ahead and order the ottoman that matches my bedroom set so that every all the pieces kind of match um, I originally was looking for something to match the two chairs that are in my room but I might be changing those out so I just was like let me just get what matches my bedroom furniture so um, it was delivered to the store today and so I'm on my way to go pick it up and I thought I would take you along with me um, and then we've got to return some curtains that I ordered for my room. Remember I told you I ordered some stuff and I wasn't sure if um, it was too late for me to return it. Well, I was able to return um, the curtains. It wasn't too late. I had until the 31st of January to do that. And so I'm going to um, return those to... Um, where am I going? I should have used my GPS because I'm really acting like I know without a shadow of a doubt where I'm going. <sighs> Sad. Uh, but anyway, we're going to return those, which I need to check and see what time they close because it's um, 4 o'clock here. So I need to make sure that they're still open by the time I get done picking up um, the ottoman. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd take you along with me. We could kind of chit chat see how everybody is doing how your day has been and how your week has been so far um and maybe talk about a little bit of what's going on in the news um you'd have to be living under a rock to not know that our current administration our current president <coughs> excuse me i'm in the car by myself so and i'll spray my car with lights off before i get out so that way i don't want anybody to be thinking oh she got the virus what if he got the virus? I'm gonna spray my car. Um, but anyway, you'd have to be living under a rock to know that he has been impeached for the second time. And um, I think there were like 10 Republicans who agreed with the impeachment, which I, I got the votes to go ahead with the impeachment. And so um, the trial is set to start um, the same day that Joe could start as early as the same day as the new administration, Joe Biden's um, inauguration day. So, um, the police is behind me. That's why I got a little distracted and I'm trying to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Even though, oh, that's where I need to go in at. I'm in an area I'm not familiar with. So anyway, um, it's it's a it's a lot going on, and there were some Republicans who argued that it was rush it was a rush decision to rush into the impeachment process without letting all of the um, things play out, and then there you know some people were like. And, and they were also like, it's time to heal, it's time to move on. And you know, I, I can see it from both sides. It's kind of like, 
you weren't saying that when you were rushing to get your nomination through. And um, the Democrats have used language that could radicalize people if they didn't have their head on straight. Um, and um, I, I mean, I just saw both sides of it. Um, for me, I just feel like because the Republicans were like, oh, it's going to further divide the country. And, you know, they had some other things that they said, which I see it both ways. Um, the, the the bad part is, is that this is, this was a buildup of over four years. And when the Capitol was stormed, um, he delayed doing anything to stop it and or prevent it to begin with. And I think he did it under the mindset of that it was going to help secure his position to be able to do it for another four years. I really don't think he looked at it from a perspective of people could get really hurt and die. Um, this could be a black mark on my legacy. I don't really think he thought about all of those things. I think he literally... Um, was just so focused on how can I stop the count? If I can stop the count, then I have a better chance of staying in this position. And I just don't think he thought it through. That's not an excuse for him not to suffer consequences for that. Because I mean, he didn't even check on his vice president and his wife and his daughter that was in the building. So I, I, I just think a lot of some of the things, some some people in the Senate are playing politics with something that is so serious or they don't want to admit that they're wrong because those who voted to not impeach him, they didn't even talk about what he didn't do. They, they kind of pointed the finger at, well, the Democrats have done this, 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 this in the past. And you're further dividing the company. Biden is saying, or country, Biden is saying he wants a country to come together. Well, while you're doing this, you're dividing it. And so it's kind of like nobody, no matter what the decision was, somebody was going to be unhappy. It's just unfortunate that as a country, we're in this. And as I'm an adult looking, truly paying attention to politics, it's just sad how our government is ran. The people really don't matter. It's really about personal opinions and thoughts. And, you know, some of the Democrats have expressed concern about Republicans who don't want to go through a medical metal detector and who want to bring their own guns because they feel like, um, you know, they're in on it and they pose a danger. And I can honestly say I understand that, especially based on some of the, the comments that I heard coming from some of them. And also that there's been a report that there's been three senator, Republican senators identified who have been, who where it's been said that they assisted um, the, the um, uh, rioters um, on that day. So, it's just a lot. It's a lot and it's unfortunate and it's kind of like there's no winners. There really isn't. And and really it's not about the American people. It's almost like, you know, where I live, they just, they're trying to pass a law, a stand your ground law. And it made it through the first um, hurdle. So now it's going to the second. But at the same time, they don't want to pass a law that swiftly or that, um, and I can't think of the exact name of the law, but it basically is dealing with people who commit crimes or do something um, against people because of race, religion, um, sexuality, and that sort of thing. They don't want to pass that. They don't feel a need for that. And it, you know, my heart sank when I saw that it that the stand your ground law went past the first hurdle because the first thing my mind thought about was my son. You know, it's easy for people to pass laws that don't affect them but the minute a law is trying to be passed that affects affects them and how their way of thinking is and their ideology then they're against it and that is what's sad it's like we can't understand each other and how things affect different people and their culture how it's perceived 
I, I don't care what you say on a stand your ground law if a black man used that law against a white man it's a 90 percent chance that that black man is still going to be convicted of that crime because it was against a white person but if a white person uses that law against a black person um, there's a 90% chance that that person is not going to be convicted because it was a black person, you know, and it's just, ugh, it's just irritating, frustrating, heartbreaking, you know, um, it's just like racism has went on for so long and it's just like, how can it go away? How can we get rid of it to where we all treat each other with dignity and respect? It's just hard for me. But anyway, as you can tell, we've made it to um, the furniture store. So I'm going to put my mask on. And we're going to go in and pick up our stuff. So let's go. Okay, guys, we got our ottoman. I hope that's what I'm calling it. I hope that's the right name. Let me see what time the UPS store closes. Um, let's see. Because I think we're probably... Mm, depending on traffic about 15 or 20 minutes okay good they close at 6 30 so we have plenty of time i wasn't sure if they closed it at five okay so anyway as i was saying i just think that the people get lost and some of the governing. And I understand that when you vote, you're voting, when you vote or don't vote, you're basically voting for who you want, but you don't always get who you want who may have the same views that you have. Um, it's a give and take, but I just feel like um, in the world that we live in now, this is the worst that I've seen it. Now, I know it was worse than this when, um, um, my grandparents and their parents and their parents' parents were dealing with racism. I mean, we have it relatively easy compared to what they had to go through. But for my generation, this is really um, 
man, this is the worst that I've seen it. And um, I've said this before in one of our other um, vlogs when we were talking about this. I just don't recognize the Republican Party anymore. Or I wasn't paying enough attention before to realize that this is who they are. I just really feel like the current administration um, has done a lot to destroy it in you know, some of the core values that the Republican Party stood for, he just didn't display that. And I think they got on board with him because they couldn't get anybody else in there. Um, and I think some of what he has done has opened the window for some Republicans to show who they really are, which they're racist. I'm just, you know, going to be honest. And I'm not saying that Democrats are not racist because there are some Democrats who are just as racist and just as, um, you know, um, treacherous as what happened at the Capitol. Um, it's just that right now the Republicans are the ones that's on in the hot seat and on display. Um, you know, they said all summer long that it was re Democrats who was doing <coughs> excuse me it was Democrats all summer long who was um, protesting in, in the streets and being violent and rioting and burning down buildings and all of that <coughs> um, Republicans have done the same thing that's what do you think the Capitol building was only thing is, is they didn't catch it on fire and I honestly was surprised by that because I just knew a fire was coming I just knew it. So both parties are guilty. It's just that right now, the Republican Party is in the hot seat. You know, both parties said, well, the people who are burning down the buildings and tearing down, that's Antifa and um, the Proud Boys. Both parties have said that. It's not us, but it happened on our watch. You know, it happened on our watch, so we have to take responsibility for it. Regardless of which party you're on, both parties have to take responsibility because it happened on our watch, their watch. So, anyway, that's going on in the news. Um, and it's just going to be interesting to see. I will say that it's going to put Biden in a, that, that <laughs> the Republicans are going to ride him um, about this impeachment hearings and trial. They're going to be, I thought you said you wanted to bring the country together. They're going to beat him and the Democrats over the head with that. How do you, how is this bringing the, everyone together? And I get it. It's not. But there has to be a consequence for what happened um, at the Capitol. And it does not matter. It matters not that it was the Republican Party that it happened with. It's the fact that it happened. So, and there's got to be a consequence for it. I mean, plain and simple. I mean, come on. We got to be realistic about it. And you can't tell me that if it was the other way around, they wouldn't do the same. And that's the thing that irritates me about politics. It's always so convenient when you're not in the hot seat to say you, 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 um, never thinking you're going to end up in that situation. It's kind of like when, um, the Republicans refused to let Obama, President Obama, um, appoint a judge. They said it was too soon. It's a year out from the election. You need to let the next, let the people decide who the judge is going to be. Let them elect who they want and let that person appoint a judge. And even what Lindsey Graham even went on record saying, um, if, if it's, you can mark my words, if it's the other way around and the Democrats have the option, I'm going to feel the same way. Well, guess what? It happened. Happened. Then he and the rest of them changed their tune there was a handful who said, no, you need, it's not right. You shouldn't do it. But it was a week out or two weeks out or wasn't long, wasn't a month, I don't think. And they changed their tune and said, well, because um, the Republicans have control of the Senate, um, 
will um we we should be able to it's different it's not the same really come on now that was very hypocritical but at the same time now that when the Dem when they were saying that the democrats the left was doing all this rioting and tearing up and this you know the, they had so much to say about that now it's in their hands you know they're guilty of it they're being you know accused of being a part of it and being their fault now it's but it's different i'm telling you it is it, it's just it's a bit much you got to take a break from tv and news or you'll be angry and you don't even know why because some of the stuff that I've heard on both sides, I'm just like, how hypocritical can you be? Okay, this lady that's in front of me, she is very elderly. And she can barely see over um, her stern wheel. And when I say she's driving slow, I wish I could get her, but a car just turned in front of me. So I won't be able to let you see her, but I, she should not be driving. She can't. I mean, I, she cannot. I mean, you can barely see her in the seat. Yeah, she don't need to be driving. Anyway, guys. <clears throat> so yeah, that's going on in the news. Um, it seems like something else happened that I wanted to talk about that happened in the news and what else happened you had the impeachment um oh well it's not coming to me maybe it'll come to me before i close the vlog out but yeah what are your thoughts about everything that's going on with um the impeachment hearings and just the state of the of the United States. Like, they did up the charges on the gentleman that's from um, Arkansas that was arrested, the one who put his feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk, stole a piece of her mail, and left her a nasty note. Um, they did up his charges, so now, instead of only facing up to a year in jail, he's now facing up to 10 years in jail. And you know, I'm just, my mind is just blown at the level of, oh, they closed that subway. Oh, interesting. Um, my mind is blown at people who participated and went inside the, it's one thing you to, to protest. I have no issues with that. Freedom of speech. But it's another for people who everybody's at UPS right now um, it's another it's kind of like you went inside that building I, I, I don't know if they really took the time to think about I could really get in trouble for this I mean there were some prominent people that were in that building police offer off-duty police officers um, an Olympic gold medalist attorneys um, fire department um, real estate business owners realtors business owners uh, one of them's dad was a judge um, one of them was a stay-at-home dad had five kids so that meant you stayed at home taking care of five kids while your wife went to work well now you in jail I mean it it, it was kind of like they had stuff to lose you know people who don't have anything to lose will do anything they don't have anything to lose but when you have something to lose that you've worked hard for or that you're trying to hold on to, it'll give you pause, at least for me. It'll give you pause to where you stop and think, okay, now, is this a good idea? Should I do this? Um, they, it was like they didn't have any pause in doing that. They had a lady with a bullhorn that was giving direction as if she knew the building. Um, they had... Um, it was just a lot. It was it was a lot. And you know, comparing that to the protesting that took place over the summer, both of them it turned into a lot once it turned violent and um property started 
being destroyed. But I, I don't know, guys. I'm just so ready to move on. I can't even explain it because it's a lot. It is a lot. But anyway, I've made it to the UPS store, so we're gonna go return these curtains. And um, let me get my receipt pulled up so I can have that ready to go. Um, okay. So yeah, these are the curtains that I got, but they were too light. So I'm gonna try to get a mocha color because one of the pillows, one of the pillows I got, it's got a mocha lining around the pillow. And I thought that was so cute. And I was like, let me try like a mocha color and see if I kind of like that instead of this like gold. It was like bright to me. I just didn't like the way it looked. So anyway, let's go in. And I think I might stop at Kroger's. I've been craving some chili and I need to get some ground beef. So, oh, there's somebody leaving. So I think I might go to Kroger's when we get done here. Um, I have not done a grocery order since the last situation. I, I just I just don't know if I can fool with Kroger's like that. I need a, I'm gonna have to just brave it and start going um, back into the store because that was too much. That, that was, that was too much. I haven't even checked to see if it's the same or if it's gotten better, I don't know. But yeah, it was too much. It really, it really was. I haven't even, I haven't recovered from it myself. Okay. What is this? St. Augustine, was this something that stuck to the bottom of my boot? Because I have no idea. Oh, I bet you somebody needs this. Because it says it expires 3 4 20. I have no idea where this came from. I must have picked it up on my boot when I was at the um, furniture store because I ain't been nowhere else. All right, guys. Let's head in. Okay, it looks like it's getting ready to rain. So I have a chase, taste for some chili, but I'm by Mexican restaurant. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Well, I could order and then um, just go into Kroger's and grab um, my chili ingredients. I could do that. 
you know what? I, do I have, I don't, I don't think I need all ingredients. I know I need ground beef. I don't need onions. I got onions. This is what happens when you buy, you go to think about going to the store on the spur of the moment. And the store looks like it's full of folk. Oh Lord. <laughs> but I gotta, I, I, I really need to grocery shop. I have not grocery shopped since, and even my son was like, can we go to the store? I'm so used to just getting my stuff online and then pulling up and have them load my car. But that experience um, last week was too, oh, somebody got that one, was too much. I was just like, oh no, I can't, I, I can't lose my sanity trying to get groceries now. This is too much. <clears throat> All right, let me see how long. But I need to go. I probably need to order it when I come out of the store because of where I, how I gotta go down, come back up to get it. But then I gotta go and deal with that traffic too. Trying to get in and out of there is gonna be See this right here. I want chili, but got a taste for Mexican. Oh, man. Okay, guys, let me figure out what I'm going to do. I got um, ingredients to make chili and I ordered my food so um, I am on my way to go pick up my food and um, I should have ordered my food later I should have ordered it after I left out the store. And I knew that at the time, but I'm easily distracted. What can I say? So, okay, this is where I'm at. Um, I got everything for chili. Um, I got the main ingredients for chili, so that way if I don't have what I think I have at home, it won't mess anything up. I bought a couple extra things. Um, 
Now I'm noticing that they've got, um, at this Kroger's, I've never used it, but I'm noticing that they have online order pickup here and there's only one person sitting there waiting to get their groceries at five, whoop, whoop, whoop. It is 515. Now the Kroger's that I go to, that's closer to my house, it, you be circling the block looking for a um, looking for a, a parking space. So maybe I'll try this Kroger's here and see how it is. Because I'm telling you, me going in that store and just picking up the little items I was picking up, it was too much. They had moved stuff around in there from the last time I was in there shopping, so I had to search for some stuff. But I. I'm not used to going into the store and grocery shopping. So maybe when I have my son with me this weekend, when we go, I'll have a little bit more patience. Um, he likes going to the grocery store. But then again, my son is more outgoing. He's, he's an extrovert where I'm an introvert. So he likes, you know, doing stuff like that, being out and about and so. I'll take him with me and he'll help me stay grounded as we're grocery shopping. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as I said, I'm on my way to go pick up my food. Um, it's probably gonna be cold. I'm gonna have to warm. Am I behind another elderly person? Because they are driving awful slow and I can't see them either. All I can see is the back of the seat must be a thing today that they're all out. Well, this person doesn't have a handicap tag like the other person, so maybe it's a teenager or something. Either that or they're elderly because they're driving like one of the two. A beginner driver. Um, yeah. So anyway, how are you guys doing? I think I've asked you that. Yeah, my food's getting ready to be cold because this traffic is horrible up here. Um, what are you guys having for dinner today? Um, are you like me and you're craving all these different things and um, you trying to make it all work? Um, I'll bring you guys back when um, we go to pick up our food. Oh, we finally got a little bit of lighting, although it's getting dark outside. Um, why am I rambling? Is it, did I think about what the other thing I was going to talk about that was in the news? Um, let's see, impeachment, we, we talked about that. I can't think of anything else that I read. I know I read some stuff, but for whatever reason, whoo, Lord Jesus, I hope I ain't dented my stuff up back there, my ottoman, because it is sliding all over the place. Um, What else has been going on in the news that we haven't talked about? And I said we were going to talk about it too. And it was kind of old. I was like, I haven't even talked about that. Um, I can't think of it, guys. I cannot think of it. I don't know why I can't think of it. Um, I can't, so I'll bring you back when we get to the restaurant. Okay, we got our food. We're heading to the house. Um, while I was sitting here waiting for them to bring out the food, I just read that, um, there are some airlines who are not allowing checked guns for flights going into DC. 
um, they're not wanting any, which I think is a good idea. Not good for persons who actually live there and who are not up to no good. Not good for them, but I, I understand the reasoning for it. Um, the other thing that I was going to talk about was the um, number of National Guards that they have staying the night. Um, they showed a video of them sleeping on the floor and I'm just like, it reminded me of like a picture of our troops being um, overseas on duty and um, having to be prepared for the enemy. Um, and it's just crazy that this is the site, that's, it's the same vision and they're in the United States, in Washington, D.C., where our the White House and the Capitol is like that is just a lot it says a lot to me that things have just gotten completely completely um, out of order and um, oh, and it's just sad you know it's just sad on so many levels that this is where we're at this is where we're at in life that um, you know people feel that strongly that they've got to resort to violence or whatever so anyway we just got to pray um, it's just all we can do I mean um, oh I know what the other one was the gentleman the young man who the teenager who went to um they shot the protesters. I can't remember where they were at. He drove from his home to where they were protesting. Well, he's out on bail and he was seen at a bar with his parents and he had a shirt on that spoke to him being free and in uh, some pictures that he took, he threw up a some type of a sign that is um, like a racist symbol is what it stands for. And, um, you know, like he didn't have a care in the world. And um, his bail money was paid by public donations. By um, That was how he was able to get out. Um, and again, it just speaks to the world that we live in. A lot of people feel, feel sorry for him saying that he just didn't understand. And he, it was just so much chaos that he was just trying to bring peace to you know, the city, he because he just didn't understand what was going on. No, when, well, how come he didn't know? You know, I don't understand why his parents would not have explained that to him, because I know I have a lot of conversations with my son as it pertains to the world and what he should and shouldn't be doing. Um, you know, I have a conversation with him every time he leaves the house about if you come in contact with law enforcement, this is what you should and should not do. You know, if you find yourself in this type of situation, you should do this, 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 and this, and not this. And and I know that conversation doesn't have to be had with all young teenage boys, just African Americans. So why he didn't know, I don't know, but it's gonna be interesting to see what his defense is and when he goes to trial and how much time he gets if they give him manslaughter versus what he really should get for murdering, I think it was one or two people. I know it was at least one. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out now because I am losing my light. Is this a police officer? Yes, that's why they all started bunching up. Um, or state trooper. Um, I'm gonna. I'm losing my light, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out. Uh, but before I do, if this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. How have you been? Um, I ask that you click the like button. By clicking the like button, that puts our videos in front, our um, channel in front of other YouTubers who enjoy watching YouTube, and let them know what we've got going on over here. Um, I ask that you click the subscribe button if you're not already a part of the family and also click the bell. The bell will notify you by clicking the bell. It notifies you when new content has been loaded to the channel. 
And lastly, I ask that you share, 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 share. We're trying to grow our channel to 100 subscribers by the end of this month, and I need you to help me do that. I'm counting on you to help me do that. We want people to know that we have fun over here. We talk about a variety of different subjects, sometimes serious, sometimes not. And we want them to, you know, be a part of it. So, uh, before I get out of here, I do want to leave you with this. Remember, the plans for your life have already been designed. It's just up to you to trust the planner. Have a good one, everybody.